Hi y'all, it's me, Anna E, and I'm gonna show you what was in my sixth trunk club shipment. So for this trunk, I asked my stylist to send me things that a 22 year old would wear on a casual weekend because I, if you've watched my previous trunk club reviews, um, you will have noticed a theme of the old lady. And while I know that my age is not, is not always in line with how I dress, um, I also don't think I'm a granny who should be wearing like big floral polyester dresses. So this time, um, 22 year old weekend, casual weekend, and holy cow, there is only one thing in this box that I hated and the rest of it was perfect, right spot on. I am so, so excited. Um, I'm not keeping everything obviously because A, who's got a thousand dollars to drop on a trunk and B, um, a couple of things didn't fit me so great in the shoulders. I've got really broad shoulders, so eh. Um, I may be asking for a different size for one of the things, but you'll see. So here we go. So first up is a pair of sandals. These are gladiator sandals. These feel kind of like a nubuck suede feel. They're Thai, they have little um, uh, silver embellishments tacks on each of the lines, and holy cow, are they comfortable. They are squishy in the bottom and feel amazing. I am absolutely 100% keeping these. These will replace um, some brown gladiator sandals that I've had for a couple of years. Uh, and these um, these come just in time because those sandals have seen, have seen it. I am mildly concerned about the suede in wetter weather. Um, it rains a lot in Georgia, especially in the summer. So I'm gonna really, I may think about these a little longer, but I love them. I love them with my whole self. These are Dolce Vita. Um, I believe they're under $100. I don't have the price sheet. My cat is sitting on it currently. So um, I'm pretty sure they're under 100 or right at 100, if I remember right. Next up are these delightful flats. They are metallic, also really comfortable. Um, I was very surprised because normally sandals that have the, the cage at the toe sort of rub my feet funny, but these felt really good walking around the house um, for a little bit. They are Vince Camuto, I guess, Camuto? I'm sure it's Italian, so you would have to pronounce it in an Italian way, but these, this guy right here, Vince, somebody. Um, I, I'm debating on these, because A, they're comfortable, B, you know, they're metallic, and I don't know how I feel about metallic, but these might look really cute with some casual shorts and like a chambray top. Um, I think they might add a little extra punch to it. They're not, they're not, I don't know. I like them, I like them a lot. So these are, these are in my maybe pile. It'll probably end up down to price. Um, yeah. Next we have this shirt from um, Calson, I guess, K-A-S-L-O-N. It is a, sort of salmon-y color with little tiny white chevrons in it. This feels so good. It is such a breathable, open, flowy fabric. And while it looks thin when I hold it up to the light, it was very, it was opaque when I had it on. Um, fits great, not too big, not too small. Definitely curves in a little bit between, um, you know, curves in at the waist a little bit to give it some more of a definition so it doesn't look like you're wearing your boyfriend's shirt. But oh my goodness, I love this. I love the rolled up sleeves. I love the color. I love the little chevron print. I love the way this feels. It's a nice textury something. It's even got the tiny little pleat at the back so it flows a little bit. I am so in love with the shirt. I'm so happy about the shirt. I'm really excited about wearing the shirt. I will probably rock it tomorrow if possible. This is a casual sort of t-shirt um, large. It's very swingy. It's got um, wider kind of short kimono sleeves here and it, it, it's a tiny bit on the crop side, but boy is it soft and boy is it comfortable. And surprisingly, it hangs really well. Like it, to be so wide and swingy, it doesn't, it doesn't box me off or um, add extra flair. It hangs, it drapes really nicely. Uh, and I'm, I'm really thinking about this. It's from Free People. It's uh, ink blue something or other um, and they pulled the price off of it. So I will probably, I will, pr if, 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 if it's under 30 or $40, I'll probably keep it to wear it around the house. I, I likely wouldn't leave the house in it um, because it's a little too, it's a little too casual. But oh my goodness, it would be so good to lie around the house in and work because I work from home about four days a week now. So this would be a really good thing to wear because I wouldn't be embarrassed to walk to the mailbox or answer the door in it. 
Then we have this nice stripy shirt. It is a, um, a button down short sleeve. It's from Madewell. It's also another wide um, sort of loosey goosey shirt. And I, you know, I, I pulled it out of the box and I was like, I don't know how I feel about this. It's really big, but it looks really cute. It looked really casual. And I think with some of my, um, you know, my more fitted shorts, I think this could look really cute with that. Um, the price was really good on it. I believe it was in the 60, in the 60 ish range. 50 or 60 so yeah I really like it I think I'm gonna keep it it's very soft and while I'm not a total stripey kind of girl I don't know I I kind of dig it next we have a another button-down shirt I, I, I probably should mention this I told her in my note that I was living in button-downs and popovers from J crew with shorts or skinny jeans um, so that is that is why she sent me so many of these so don't think that this is like a standard whatever I, I did tell her that's what I'm living in so that's what she sent me um, right, so this one is from Madewell. It is a, I think it's called the Boyfriend Plaid. I don't remember. Boyfriend Plaid. It's got, um, it's got double pockets on, on the chest, which normally I don't like because that emphasizes my chest, which doesn't need emphasizing. Um, but it, you know, it worked really well. I, I feel like this is super soft. Um, I don't, I don't like red so much, but this would be perfect to wear for Labor Day or the 4th of July or whatever, all this red, white, and blue business. Very American. Um, so soft, so comfortable, fit really well. Again, it cinched in right where it should and flowed away from the body where it should. Didn't add any extra volume, but it wasn't too tight. Um, I will very likely have to wear it with an extra button unbuttoned and a tank underneath it because my chest is a little chesty. But I think that'll be okay. I think that'll be okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna look for some lightweight, um, some lightweight breathable tanks at the Target next time I'm there for these sorts of things. So yeah, I think I'm gonna keep that one too. Back in the stripes, this is from Rails, um, and oh my goodness, this feels like a pajama shirt. It is so, so soft. I love this so much. Also stripes, um, which I think I just said, but it's, um, the fabric makes it so different. It makes it so light. It feels almost like a linen. Um, I, would, I would probably say it's a linen or a homespun. It feels so, so good. Um, there's no price on this either. I think everything, everything except for two pieces was under $100 in this trunk. Um, just to give you some, some information there, because cat's still on the price sheet. Um, right, so <laughs> this is really nice, really soft. This is not quite as fitted as the other shirts, but that's fine. Um, I, because it flows so well, it hangs really well, so it ends up, it ends up curving in on its own the way it hangs, so definite, yes. I am saving the best piece for last, or my best piece for last, um, which is a departure, but it's it's very cool and I like it a lot. Okay, so next up we have this sweater from Hologen. It is a lightweight summer knit sweater. Um, it fits fine, it looks fine, it's a pretty color. I like it fine. Um, you know, but I just, eh. I like it a lot. If I needed sweaters, I would keep it um, because it does fit really beautifully. Um, it is super soft, the color is great. But I don't, I don't need sweaters going into summer like this, so I will be um, sending that one back, but only because I just don't need it right now. This shirt is from Paige. It's, um, it's a very gauzy, thin sort of um, red, reddish, red brick probably, red brick print. Uh, I didn't like this one so much. The 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 the, 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 the V on the neck was really deep, um, so there got a lot of cleavage on it. And that doesn't make me incredibly comfortable. So it's gonna go back just because of the fit. But the, the print is not so bad. I did like the button sleeves. Um, it's just it just wasn't it just wasn't perfect. This dress was something I actually linked to her in my note um, of things that I liked. It's um it's a denim, it's a denim stretch from Theory Dress. It's got um, a pocket up on the chest and a buttons down the middle, and I, I would have kept it. Oh, I forgot. This is this was this was the most expensive thing. I forgot that this was a lot of money. This was um, this was like in the 300, close to 300, right around the 300 mark. And it it doesn't feel like it's a 300 dollar dress, which is a little disappointing. And and the fit was a little. The fit was a little tight in the hips, which made these, which made the pockets on the hips poke out funny. And if the pockets hadn't been there, it would have worked fine. It would have just kind of skimmed and gone down. But since the pockets were right where my hips start, they went and they added a lot of volume to it. But yeah, it didn't really feel like a $300 dress. Um, I was really expecting to love this and I just, I just didn't. Um, but she did send it to me because I asked her to send it to me. So that's, that is positive. Next up is a shirt dress, um, also stripey. This is more of a, a crispy cotton feel rather than a, you know, that soft, super nice linen or homespun. Um, I liked it okay, 
I liked it okay, but it, it bagged in the back. I'm short-waisted, and since my hips are so wide and my shoulders are so broad, I usually get a bunch of fabric bulging at the back of things, especially when they have fitted waists, which is normally why I don't wear dresses with fitted waists. Um, but it, you know, it was fine, it was okay, it feels very nice. It's, um, it's from Equipment Fem, I guess. Or it's the fin line of equipment, either way. But it's a green stripey thing, it's got a belt to cinch in your waist and whatever, but it's, you know, it was, like I said, it's fine, but it's, it's not something I would keep. It's not something I would wear. Um, it's all right. I didn't hate it, which I think is what we're going for. This dress, on the other hand, oh my gosh, I wanted this to work so badly, and it just, it just doesn't, which is such a shame. This is a Michael Kors blue, beautiful, gorgeous blue dress. It feels so good. Feels so good. Um, it's got po double pockets on the chest, it's got double pockets on the hips, and that's where it really went wrong for me. Um, these ended up being right where my hips start, which added a lot of volume. It also was a little too tight, so it just ended up, and the hips, so it just ended up looking just a little, a little not quite right. Oh, it just, oh, it just broke my heart. This was only like 100 and 140, 130, 140 dollars. Um, it has a nice belt that you tie in the front. The sleeves are great. They're great length, the great color, the great style. I'm so bummed. Because if you size up with this, it'll be too big everywhere else. And I just, you know, it just breaks my heart. It just absolutely breaks my heart on that one because I love that dress. This thing is something that I was just, you know, she put it in my cart originally and I said, hey, go ahead and send it to me. Why not? I'll give it a try. I've never tried one on before. This is a field jacket, a green field jacket from Madewell. It's got lots of zips and pockets and this neat thing where you can cinch in the waist without having an out an outside belt, which is really good for walking in the woods so you don't, so you don't want to get caught on anything. And holy cow, I was really surprised by this. Um, the fit was really nice if I was just gonna wear it to wear a jacket, like to work or outside or to dinner or whatever. Um, but because I want it to ride in, I want it to be outside, I want it to ride around in it in my golf cart, because my town has golf carts, or um, walk around the woods when I go on a photography adventure or stuff like that. I'm gonna need it to have a little more mobility in the shoulders. And it was just a little too tight, a little too tight, like right here. Everywhere else fit, fit really well. Um, so I think if I go up a size, It'll be loose and I can cinch in the waist to make it look a little more girly, a little more feminine. Um, so that's what I'm gonna ask for. I'm gonna ask if I can just size up and keep it because man, it feels good. It, it, it's about 100, I think this was 120, 130, something like that. But yeah, feels great, so soft, love the color. It's it's sturdy, it's, um, it's warm without being too hot, which will be great for summer nights. Um, especially when you're riding around the golf cart. I loved the neck on this. It's almost like a, it's like a mock turtleneck kind of, sort of. But I imagine you could fold it down, but I would definitely wear it up because holy cow, it's cute. This is the one piece that I absolutely hated um, right out of the box. We're back into that polyester feel, cheapy fabric nonsense. It's a short sleeve, blue, florally shirt um, that didn't, that wasn't even really flattering. It is from um, Pelone, P-E-L-I-O-N-E. Pelone, I guess, I don't know. But I just, you know, again with the black, the gross fabric. Um, I know what she was doing. She was looking for, I had rejected a bunch of things that didn't have sleeves, but were all blue. And I had told her on all of those things, love the color, love the pattern, need sleeves. And so that's probably what she was doing with this, is she was looking for something that was blue with sleeves. But I mean, yeah. That's definitely something not in my leg pile. And last, my absolute favorite piece in the history of pieces is this beauty from Hinge. It's got critters on it, guys. And the best part about the critters is it's got squirrels. There are squirrels in here playing tiny little violins. There's one right there, tiny little violin playing squirrel. I am so, oh my gosh, this fits so beautifully. I'm so, so pleased. So it has um, buttons on the sleeves. The sleeves end up going to like right about, right about there, um, right about there on me. It flows beautifully. It's got a nice, um, it's got a nice V-line neck that's not too deep. Um, I just, I just love it. I love that it has squirrels on it. I love that it's a pretty color. I love that it's a critter print. I love the way it fits. It flows, but it doesn't flow. <laughs> it is, it's just, it's different. It'll look great with shorts, with skinnies. It'll look fantastic with my white skinnies and probably those silver sandals. I probably wear those. But I, I can't tell you how happy I am that I now have a shirt with squirrels that play violins. 
There are other things on here too that are playing things. Um, let's see, there is a raccoon playing a banjo and a cricket with a violin and a fox with a banjo, it looks like. Um, there are some bugs and a hedgehog. Yeah, so I am 100% I am happy about that. And that was my trunk. Um, by far the best one I've ever had, ever in the history of ever. Just like I said, one piece that I absolutely hated, three that didn't fit quite right, one of which I'm gonna be exchanging for a larger size because I really think I'm gonna use that. That's gonna be an outstanding thing to have in my wardrobe, uh, especially going into um, spring, summer, and fall. It's gonna be just right. I, I, I don't even wanna think about what I'm about to spend on this thing. Um, so y'all need to click the referral link because I'm gonna need some help. I think we have finally hit the nail on the head with my style and my, um, you know, my wardrobe needs and what I like. Finally hit the nail on the head. This trunk was as perfect as it can get. Um, I, I am super, super pleased. So fingers crossed that I don't break the bank when I go to check out and um, I'll see you next time. This is weird, weird setup, weird feeling. I feel like I'm looking too high up, but I have zero time to fix that. And you're gonna hear a licking Remus through this entire thing because my external mic is on the fritz. So, <sighs> oh, you know what I should probably be doing? I should probably be telling you what these things are and how much they cost. <laughs> Strange little noises. I'm not doing well this time around. I feel like I'm distracted. It's probably the cat. <clears throat> definitely the cat. Next we have sort of a, I mean, I would, it would definitely put it in the casual. Oh, please don't, please don't do that. Why are you always on everything? Um, where was I? Now Remus is on the desk. Maybe he'll snuggle down in his bed and stop putting his fur and stuff on things that may be going back. Okay, food. <laughs> 